John, what can you tell us about this guy? Drew, we've been digging into this guy, and we're learning a lot about him and about his mother. His name, as you mentioned, is Carlin Williams. His stage name, actually, he's a rapper, stage name Prince Dracula. He claims that he is Prince's biological son, and his mother signed an affidavit that says... In July of 1976, she met Prince in the lobby of a Kansas City hotel. They drank wine. They went upstairs. They checked into their room. They had unprotected sex. She says she hadn't had sex with anybody for six weeks prior, and she didn't have sex with anybody during the entire term of her pregnancy. Now, this is it's interesting, Drew. Mr. Williams actually came forward about a decade ago to the same attorney who is now representing him, telling this same story. At that time, the attorney didn't take the case because he <laughs> said it couldn't be corroborated. Now he has taken this on, and Carlin Williams claims that a DNA test will, in fact, show that he is Prince's biological son and if you look at this guy's rapping web pages his music web pages he makes many many references to prince and many references to being prince's son as well he's in prison in supermax he's essentially a career criminal he'll get out of prison in 2020 Drew. Let's, let's throw up a split screen i'll show you ladies what do you think here does this uh, see any family resemblance i i i don't i do not get it at all John, tell us what you can about the person you're vetting and why you believe he's a, a likely candidate. Well, Dr. Drew, thanks for having us on. I can tell you he's in his mid-30s. He, he grew up in the Midwest. Um, his demeanor, he is at rational and he seeks no fame or wish to show up on the courthouse steps. It's not a publicity stunt. He was consistent in what he told us, and his story checks out as far as our investigators are involved. And very importantly, he agreed to consider our position. That is, our credibility as a company must be maintained. We have a professional reputation to protect since it precedes our interaction with missing heirs who are very skeptical at our first initial meeting. Therefore, he agreed there would be no rush to the courthouse, and he would give our staff the time to investigate and sift all the facts regarding his legitimacy in a coherent manner so we could advise him on the likelihood his claim would be accepted by so, the court. So, John so Hilbert, John Hilbert are, we, are you saying that this guy you guys are pursuing has not yet presented himself to the court, but you're doing your due diligence and you will be presenting this guy? That's absolutely correct. Okay. Um, the judge gave us, to his credit, four months to come forward, and he also ordered that DNA tests be taken and typed from Prince. So it's a perfect situation for us. We can do our due diligence. We can, we're hoping to do it anonymously if we get the opportunity, and then we'll come forward.